Alrighty, we got episode 10 of my God of War Ragnarok Let's Play series on Give Me God of War difficulty. And this one is action packed. We take back control of Kratos and we go and smack up some elves. That's all I'm gonna say. I think I already said too much, but nonetheless, it is action packed. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy the video. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Back and Kratos is gonna be like, hey, Atreus, hey, Atreus how you doing? Like, nah. Sonic Aftershock accessory. Scraps of metal from Tears Temple fused with soundstone echoing echoing the warrior's spirit. What does that mean? Okay, let's just slap that on. Let's keep it moving. Let's make some progress in this game. Okay. So I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never ever admit this injury. It's so... Slash, stop it. It's so hot in my office right now. Like, I wish I could turn on the AC, but I know the mic is going to pick it up. And Good thing I like climbing. That's not fun to hear. It's not fun to hear in the background. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. I'm surprised Atreus doesn't wear any gloves or anything. You know, all this climbing that he does. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh, today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... Okay. That's... I just fixed that! Right, and I'm hit. I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Get that fool out of here, ASAP. Kill the fucking eyeball. Eyeballs are dead. Now kill this guy. My god. Yeah, truly. Yeah, Let's go. Let's bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I don't need that. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. <gasps> More eyeballs. Oh my god, this is so cringe. <laughs> I'm getting my ass beat by eyeballs. This is so cute. Back to Alfheim Tower. I need okay. that. Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. Whoa. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Okay. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Whoa. Sindri. 
Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. Yeah. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Why wouldn't you tell him right away? Why wouldn't you tell Brock right away? Really? Now? Oh, come on. Oh, fantastic. He's like, ooh, I'm level 2 now, with all my health regenerated. Combat in this game is so fucking obnoxious sometimes. I keep forgetting to use Brock. Brock's like the best tool. I mean, Sindri. So we left, made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's a... An... Shut up. <laughs> I don't know why Sinji wouldn't tell Brock right away. Give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope, that was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Yeah, let's bounce. I keep dropping frames. My stream keeps like ending. I hope it's not reflecting. Coming home empty handed badly on the After recordings. Such a failure. Just wanted now to hang on, little Yoto. Tear may not be everything you expected, but a failure. You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there. I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. He has snow on him. I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus. Where have you been? Keen? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? <laughs> Be right down. This sausage? Uh, sure, why not? All right. I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. 
I accept. What? Uh, Trey is who I plan on next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. We, we, we went to Alfheim in the last game. The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You're better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this one will get you there. You know what? I'm going to build a bigger table. Interesting how here you're really up for coming with us. I am whenever you're ready Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek it's the least I can do to repay you plus I Think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again mm. That elf light is some good shit So Atreus got away with it, his little adventure. So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me. He explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphite, he really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? You are free man again, old friend. All right. Um, let's get this show on the road. Okay. I think that's all for now. Let's back out. I'm gonna finish getting ready in the car. I love you. I love you. You look very pretty. Thank you. Have fun. Be safe. Thank you, babe. That's uh, my lovely wife. She's heading to a concert tonight. So, hope she has a great time. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. In the meantime, we'll be grinding out the game. All right. Excuse me, sir. The, squ the squirrel. Don't mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. Okay, it's a literal squirrel. My goodness, what a strapping physique! Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? <laughs> This must be the squirrel that tends the wall tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait. If you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Ratatosker. The one you know as Ratatosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! Okay. I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, 
Would you like the seed back? Oh, he didn't eat it. What the hell's going on? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Hm. Uh, since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Okay. Ah, so that's why good Master Brock needed an Alfheim seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. So, yeah, let's just go to Alfheim. Let's continue the main story for now. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgar. That's terrible. So then we fought our way to an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The dark elves were covering it with their sticky hide stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. Did they now? All right. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. All right, let's see if we can uh, reach the shrine let's in this the episode. Their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. A living desert. Huh. Chest. Don't mind if I do. Boy, what is that? I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Another chest? Always gotta give a nice little look, see. Gotta look around. Never know what you'll see. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the dark elves get on best they can. Let's try and uh, open up this rune chest. So that's two. The third's got to be around here somewhere. So maybe what we'll do is we'll hop back up, right? and see what we can see. That's tier, okay. Hop up here. There, the temple of light. There it is. 
Very nice. Now let's hop down. Let's open up the chest. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. I sure do like loot. Ah, very well. Very good. Okay, now let's continue. the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Those swords look like the Darksaber from uh, Star Wars, right? Pretty cool. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic. Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Okay. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. We're over here hitting bank shots with our axe. Love that. Those bats did come out though. We got some salamanders. Okay. There's more? Okay. Let's hop here. Give me that loot. Let's hop back up, though. Looks like I can climb up. Well, let's go over here first. Ooh, shit. Salamanders. from the mind of Kvasia. Okay, got a book. Love that for me. I hear another salamander, right? Let's... I don't know. Let's just grab the chest. Scotty's Edge, light runic attack. Tracking axe, throw that ricochet between targets. Marked by pressing R1 repeatedly. I think I'll pass on that, to be honest. I like using my axe throw as it's chip damage. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vani traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. You mentioned how that peace fell apart as soon as he left. I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh no. I do not. Oh shit. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. Oh shit. We don't want to hurt you. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, was that a bomb? Yo, chill out. The hell? Why are you us? We you yeah, like. Focus. You want smoke? What the fuck just happened to me? Most unfortunate. They 
attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much. My goodness. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Yeah, let me hit this uh health gem. And now let's go forward. By the elves. Okay. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. Ah, here's one of those glowing boulders. To ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Hmm. Yeah. Still need a new weapon or something for that. <clears throat> but what's up with this boulder here? All this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Hmm. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Smart kid. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? We shall. We got a little bit of time left. Let's see what we run into here in this temple. What's a dark elf statue doing in the light temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? Nothing good. No sense in spoiling the surprise. Nothing good, Atreus. It's the light. Oh. oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. <clears throat> Smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I'm 
imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. What's going on over here, though? Hmm. All right, I guess it it really, it really is just straightforward. So, all right, let's go. See what we can see before the episode ends. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing. Ah. No thanks, Eva. Appreciate it. She's off the map. Oh shit, Tears over here scrapping. Throw her off the map. See ya. Yo, maybe I can cheese enemies like that too? Just chuck them off the damn map? Maybe that's a strat. I have an idea to get us across. Why fight him when you could just chuck him off the map, right? Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine away. Okay. Let's kick that down. I'm kicking this down to you, relax. Yep. Oh, a curious mind. Like, yeah, dog. I want the loot. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use alpine light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. This way, Kratos. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. He knows. He just like to be thorough. I did not mean to do that, but whatever. That was a rune attack. Yeah, this uh that little birdie gotta go. All right, fuck the Raven, bro. Get me tight. Hades rep Retribution, a forceful stab that embeds a fury bomb, which detonates after a brief delay. Okay. Yo, maybe the angle's down here? No. Down here? No. Where am I? How far did I fall? Grab that. Loot. Oh, maybe I have to. I get it. I get it. There we go. All right. Let's get out of here. Shall we continue? 
this as well. Right? Okay, let's keep on going up. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the dark elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. What became of Kabasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. No, you won't, bro. Maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Oh my god, that's what I'm, I'm like, yo, is this something behind me? Check him off the map. See ya. You. See ya. Oh shit, there's more. All right. See ya. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. I'm choking. Ah, oh, she transformed. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Mhm. Mm See ya. Bye. Oh shit. Health. See ya! <laughs> Cheesing the shit out of him. See ya! Get off the map, idiot. Oh my god, the strat is godlike. and the light left alone but the light elves want to keep using them that's the long and short of it aye so then which side is right really is it so simple and not our place to say this is an elven conflict i said as much the last time we were in alfheim right yo that strat is elite just chuck him off the damn map we can't be stopped they sure made a lot of these light doors Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. There we go. Excellent. Let's continue our set. Okay. Oh shit. Are you right? Let them kill themselves. And I'm dead. Just revive me. I don't even wanna be bothered with it. So fucking stupid. This is what kills me. How dumb. So stupid. That's what I die to. Not the Dark Elves that I'm fighting. I die to the little eyeballs. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's 
soul and what you bring to it. So dumb. I suppose I'll leave you to it. Tear, are you fucking kidding me? Blocking my way? I can't believe my eyes. Like what the hell? Whoa, Tyr can really jump. Let's go. Nice chest. All right, let's try and push. Let's try and push for a little bit more so we can end this video. There's a chest up there, so we're gonna go up there. Okay, never mind. Smile. Gotta go back here. That's the wrong one. No. Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the chest. Guess that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Sparta offers a counterpart. The Dark Elf King. He's in the light now, too. <laughs> Give me that chest. Now we're oh my god. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we can use twilight stone against them. Oh. Mm. Okay, cute little gimmick. Father, over here. Something I'm probably never gonna fucking do. Or it might be a mechanic for the boss fight. Here they come. Oh shit. Father, watch the oar. Get off the map, stupid shit. Oh my god, bro. Get off the map. Oh, I left her off the map too, the level four. Life is good. Look at these statues, these crystals. 
I've noticed them on the elves as well. Life is good. Bless up. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the castle. Oh, crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. All right. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. Yeah, we shall continue, Tyr, in the next episode. This one's already running a little bit long. Um, and I am going to debate taking a break or not right now. Maybe this will be the end of the recording session and the stream. I don't know. I'm hot. I've been streaming for a handful of hours already. But whatever. Nonetheless, that's the end of this episode. We'll carry on to the next.